Hi, I'm Sunny DeSoto, and here's a sneak peek of my fantasy story, What Pucks Love, that explores the often magical possibilities of love, featured in It Gets Even Better, Stories of Queer Possibility. Tasha sat up straighter. There's something I should probably tell you, too. Ro held her breath, knowing what was coming next. Some Midsummer Night's Dream fantasy or some human first philosophy. It was the world she lived in as a puck, and she'd long since learned to brace herself for it. Tasha's grip on the teacup tightened, her long teak fingers tapping against the vibrant green. She took a steadying breath. I like to take relationships slowly. She looked up at Roe, her dark eyes wide and impossibly vulnerable. Like, really slowly. What did that mean? Roe couldn't even guess. Explain that to me. Tasha shifted in her seat, her long, thick side braid swaying a bit against her shoulder. She bit down on her bottom lip, worrying the full flesh. She sighed and shot Roe a clear, fuck it expression. Since we're laying it all out there, I guess you should know that pretty much every relationship I've ever been in has ended because I never feel comfortable getting physically intimate with someone until I know them well. Rohoff stealing herself a bit. Look, I know there's a stereotype about pucks and sex. She waved her hands dismissively, the whole, you know what pucks like thing. What thing? Was she kidding? That pucks like to... She felt her cheeks flush. Surely Tasha had heard the saying before. Roe had certainly grown up with people, classmates, friends, lovers, strangers, teasing and taunting her with it. She'd spent her whole life being the punchline of a lazy, rhyming sex joke. Oh! Tasha's face paled and she shook her head. Oh, no, that's... Not what I meant at all. I didn't mean that you, she swallowed hard. I just meant that I, she took a breath. It sounds bad, but this really is a case of it's not you, it's me. She looked so awkward, her jaw clenched and her hands tucked tightly in her lap that it was hard not to believe her. It wasn't judgment Roe felt radiating from her. It was shame. Truth is, I've never really felt like I've known anyone, so, you know, intimacy, all kinds, not just sex and me, just... Ro fought to freeze her face, not wanting to show her shock, so how to phrase this? You've never... Tasha gave a humorless laugh. I have. It was just... She wrinkled her nose. Uncomfortable. Rose sat back thoughtfully. Okay. So how well do you need to know someone before you can feel comfortable? Tasha leaned on the table, resting her face in her hands as she stared into the tea pensively. Well, the idea of sex never really sounded all that appealing to me. Truth be told, I often wonder what possessed the first people to even try it. It just sounds messy and awkward, and if everything I've heard is true, often more work than it's worth. Ro frowned. She wasn't the stereotype people thought pucks were, some sex-crazed creature constantly in heat. But she did like sex. A lot. And intimacy in general. She enjoyed kissing and cuddling and holding hands. She couldn't imagine being in a relationship without those things. Tasha looked up, her dark eyes a little hopeful. But the idea of making love? She lifted her shoulders a bit, smiling sweetly. That sounds like it could be nice, like a physical manifestation of that feeling. Then her shoulders slumped. But making love kind of necessitates that you be in love right? To hear the rest of the story, check out this anthology. It Gets Even Better, Stories of Queer Possibilities is an anthology of speculative short fiction about queerness as it might be. These stories are about identity, relationships, and community. They're about hope, acceptance, affirmation, and joy. 
And most of all, in a time when uncertainty feels inescapable and overwhelming, they're about taking one another by the hand and choosing together to embrace the unknown. The possibilities are endless. This anthology is full of uplifting, affirming stories by an outstanding lineup of speculative fiction authors. Follow the link in the description to grab yourself a copy now. Available in print, ebook, and audiobook. And to hear more from me, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash sunnydesoto all access and instagram.com slash sunnydesoto. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Featured in It Gets Even Better, stories of queer pos- why did I whistle?